Welcome. I want to go over the steps for making a color wheel, which is the first part of your color project. So I've started by tracing a circle. I used a plate. You can, you can draw the circle freehand. It's fine if it's not perfect, or you can just trace something. Try to find something that will take up the whole piece of paper. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a color wheel which has 12 slices in it. So I started with my circle, and I've already divided my circle in half and then I'm going to divide it into four. So I'm going to make this line a little bit darker for you to see. Okay, in half. And then I'm going to divide straight up and down so that I have quarters. All right, so now I have four pieces and I'm going to divide this into 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach, take each quarter and then divide it into thirds. So I'll end up with 12. So I'm going to start with laying my ruler down. I'm going to go straight across all the way. I can do two, sli two slices at once across both edges. And I'm going to do, um, come in at about, about a third. I can measure it to about a third of this section here. So that's where this line is going to start. So I'll come across. Okay, I'm going to do that again. And this line should go, every line should dissect your middle piece. Right about here. Make sure that you're lined up in the middle. Yeah. Alright, so I've completed my 12 uh, pieces of my color wheel, and then I'm going to start by adding in the colors. I'm going to do this with the watercolor pencils. And I'm only using three colors. I'm using red, yellow, and blue, which are the primary colors. So when I'm going to fill in my three sections with red, yellow, and blue, it's very important that I skip spaces in between. So I'm going to start with yellow, which is the lighter color. And I'm going to go ahead and color that in here. Now when I, I'm going to mark this space. When I mark one with yellow, when I decide which one is going to be blue, I'm going to make sure that I skip three spaces in between. It's very important. So count one, two, three, and then the next one can be blue. And then I need three empty spaces, one, two, three, and then my last primary color can go here, and that's the red. So I'm going to mark those and then I'm going to color them in. Alright, so I've colored in my primary colors with my watercolor pencil, and now I'm coming in with the watercolor brush and just a little tiny bit of water. You don't want too much, so I just have a little bit of water on my brush so it's damp. And what I'm doing is I'm blending in the color. I started with yellow, which is very important advice for you. Always start with your lighter colors. Alright, so I finished my primary colors, and I actually dumped out my water and rinsed it out after I used the blue. The blue is going to um, contaminate your water the most, so always use your darkest blue, which will be blue, uh, last and then rinse out your water and your brush. So I'm going to create the secondary colors now, which are orange, green, and violet or purple. You can call it either one. Those secondary colors will be located directly in between your primary. So skip an empty space and make your secondary. Skip an empty space over here and make your secondary and then green. So make sure that you're doing this correctly. I've started to make my orange with laying down the yellow first. Very important, use your lighter color first. I'm going to go over the top of my yellow with a little bit of red. Not too much. I'm going to do this very lightly because I'll blend this. So the red can overwhelm the yellow. So make sure that you just use it real lightly on top. So now I'm going to go over my mixture of red and yellow to create orange with a damp brush. Alright, so I'm working on my orange, my red orange, and my yellow orange, which are the tertiary colors. Those are the ones that go in between the primary and the secondaries. So what I've done is I've made uh, a mixture of yellow and red that has more red than yellow. And on this side, I've made a mixture of yellow and red that has more yellow than red. And these are still wet right now, so they're drying. But you can get an idea of how I'm trying to blend those. I need to let them dry so they'll set up a little bit and I can go over them again. 
but the way that you label these is really important. You always put the primary name first. So this is yellow and then orange. And then this one we're going to label red-orange because you put the primary name first. 